All right, it's been a little while since I've done a tutorial, and uh, somebody left me a comment a little while ago asked me if I could do a tutorial on uh, creating profile pages and uh, partial social network kind of ordeal. So that's what I'm going to do today. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into it. So if you need to see on how to do a registration or a login, uh, check out my previous tutorials. I'm just going to go ahead and get right into the profile page. So um, right here we're looking at an index page, nothing fancy. I just put a H1 tag in there and said this is the home page. But we want to create a profile page. Um, so I'm using a user's database. Um, well, tutorial is the name of my database, user's uh, table. Uh, I just have basic information here. Username, first name, last name, and email. That's all I'm using for right now. And an ID. So when you're creating a profile page, it has to be dynamic. So you're grabbing, grabbing this information for each different user that it could be. Well, the way you do that in PHP is so... I am in profile.php. So you go backslash profile.php, question mark, then in this case, we'll just go username equals then their username. Just like that. Um, it's not showing anything because I don't have anything outputting right there. So that's how you would show that. So what we're going to want to do is get their username. And this is how you grab information dynamically for profile pages. So you go username equals, and I use request, then the name of it, which is username. So where I'm getting that username is right there. So right after the question mark and before the equals, whatever you're calling that is what you need to put in there. Uh, you can call that whatever you like. So username equals. So what I want to do then is I want to run a query to query the database to get information based on that username which is this one so and if you want to see what that would look like just to make sure that's right so echo out the username and you can see it outputs the username right there which is the same as that and all I'm doing is just grabbing that so what we want to do is uh, get user info from the database that's going to equal MySQL query and we're going to select all columns from users, player, username, oops, username equals the variable username, which is this one right here. And semicolon. So you can see how that works. I'm grabbing all the columns from users, which is the name of the table, where username equals that username. And that'll grab all that information. So that's going to return an array. So we'll go user info equals MySQL fetch association or associ uh, of get use of that query get user info. Okay, so now we want to get all those uh, columns. So we'll go um, for uh, f name is going to equal user info of the Oops. First name and L name equals user info of the last name, I could spell, and email equals user info email. So all these are, are the columns of the database. I've gone over this before in my previous tutorials. So these are just all the columns of the database. So we're just grabbing that information. So if you want to see how that would work, let's just echo out um, F name with the BR tag. Make it look a little pretty. And L name. And email. A semicolon and see if that outputs it. And there it is. That's all the information from the database, right? From there. So that's how you grab things based on using get a request on uh, profile pages. So let's say we wanted to add an image. Um, I'm not a big fan of hosting images on my own server. I use Gravatar. Um, if you haven't heard of it, check out gravatar.com. They host images for you and they have a really easy API. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So, say you want to grab an image for a profile page like, you know, Twitter or Facebook. 
I'm just going to copy and paste this in here and I'll explain it. So this is the API for Gravatar.com. Three lines, very easy. Um, if you want a default image, if they're not set up on Gravatar, if you have a user that isn't doesn't have an image uploaded on Gravatar, you can set your default image. And that will be default if nobody has an image set up there. Otherwise, they'll use their email address and spit out this URL, and then you just use that as your image source. So down here, we just go image source equals uh, grab URL, which is right there. And if you don't know, uh, less than question mark equals is a short tag in PHP for echo. That makes it things a lot easier. So we'll save that. And my email is already set up with gravatar.com, so we'll hit refresh, and there it is. That's my image. Like I said, really easy to use, only three lines, and you don't have to host any images. Save, save server space and disk space and all that fun stuff. So, um, let's just clean this up a little bit here. So, we'll put a H2 tag. And, we'll let this out. I'm not going to do much of a styling sheet on this for the sake of time. So let's just go F name and L name. And actually, I'm going to put another one in there so I can have a space between the two. Um, and a period in PHP is to concatenate things to run them together. So I'll hit refresh, and there's my name with my profile picture. Uh, just like you would do in PHP. If you want to see how it would work otherwise, let me add another one in here. So let's go insert. Uh, leave the ID alone. I have that set of auto increment. So let's just say test and um, test and test and test at test.com. So we'll put a new entry in here. So the username on this one is test. So let's just replace that username with this one. And there's the image because that one's not set up on Gravatar, obviously. It's not really an email. And there's the first and the last name. Again, that's all you have to do is just replace that right there. Um, so, what if you want to get rid of this ugly URL right here? Because nobody likes looking at that. So, just like Facebook does, you can have a backslash Facebook backslash your profile page or Twitter for that fact too. Well, uh, Twitter's different. They use Rails and they're on their own thing. But in PHP, you'd have to rewrite a URL and I'll show you how to do that with the HT access file. So let's create a new file and we'll call it .ht access. And I'm gonna copy and paste this in here and I'll explain it. So, what an HT access file is, is the first thing that Apache will find when it goes to the directory being requested. So, that's the first thing that Apache picks up, is it finds a .ht access and it reads that and keeps that true. So, what we're telling it is, right here, is rewrite engine on. We want to rewrite that there's going to be a URL rewrite somewhere. Then these two right here are telling it if it's a file or a directory, don't rewrite it. So if it's a file or a directory, you're still going to open that file or you're still going to open that directory. You don't do anything with it, is, exact, is what this tells it right here, these two. Then these two lines down here is where it actually rewrites the URL. So rewrite rule and some preg replace right here and the name of your directory or, or file. In our case, it's profile.php. Oops, let me know open that. It's profile.php. Then the question mark username then equals dollar sign one, which is wildcard. So what that's going to do is it's going to replace this whole thing right here with the actual username, just like that. So if we wanted to, I save that. So if we go backslash Ryan MC, and there it is, just like that. Um, it would still work the other way, I do believe. Yes. But if you want pretty URLs, just so you can go backslash their username, just like that. And the HT access file is what makes that happen. Um, like I said, 
pretty easy. I will post this on my blog so you can copy and paste it or download it if you need to. The HD access file or the profile.php. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to let me know. I think I'm running out of time. So that's all there is to creating a social network of sorts in profile pages with a URL rewrite on them. Uh, pretty easy. It's not much to it. Um, just remember you're just grabbing stuff by their username or yeah, just by their username and you're just querying the database from there. Um, they helped you out, uh, subscribe to my channel or my blog, ryancon.com. All right, thank you.